Welcome again guys. So in this tutorial, we will learn how to uh, enter our physical measurement data into our simulation for further processing. Let's say for example, I have this kind of graph of, of data that I already captured from my physical measurement or uh, we can find it in uh, online or we can find any data in any papers or uh, research uh, project. So, but we want to further uh, analyze the data and process the data into the simulation. Here we're using a MATLAB simulation to further process the data, this data. But in this tutorial, I will teach you only how to manipulate or entering this kind of data into the MATLAB simulation. Okay? So, let's start it. <clears throat> okay, so first of all, in order to manipulate our data that we got from the physical measurement first we need uh, we need a block called repeating sequence interpolated okay this is the block diagram that is used to manipulate our measurement data or the data that we got from the measurement okay so here I already prepared some examples for you Okay, so here we enter our vector or the, the level of the data and the second one is for the time vector, okay? So, for example, in this, uh, in this waveform or in this data, <coughs> let me elongate this and okay. Okay, so from here we can see, first on time zero, on the time zero, it will start from 2.5. Let's me look at this also. Okay, on time zero, it will start from 2.5. It will drop until 2.2. It will drop to 2.2 at 2.880. Okay and so on. Then it will go up again to 2.7, 2.5. This is the value vector, the value or level of the signal, and this one is the time. Okay, so by using this, uh, this uh, block, we can uh, manipulate whatever data we have. Okay, so for example, we can change this, this data, and change the time according to whatever data we have. Okay, we say okay now, we press okay, then we close this. Now we need scope to display our data. And then, but before we start, okay, let's start the simulation first and see what the thing will be happening. If we start the simulation now, okay, we can see here only this kind of, of, or this limit of data will be displayed. Why? Because our step is very short, only 10 seconds. If we see here, actually it can go to this number, 36,000. So we take this number, 36,000, we add it here. Now we can see the full length of our uh, data. Okay. We got maximize. Here we go. Okay, done. So this is how we manipulate the data from the physical measurement into a, a simulation uh, measurement or simulation processing. Okay, so here we manually entering the data according to our measurement. So we can just copy this from the data Excel sheet. Okay, and put it here. But it's good to be mentioned that here, this number, the sample time, is very affected the, the the smoothness of the signal okay the more you add sample the more the signal will be more the signal will be more smooth for example here if we reduce the number say 0.1 now you will see the signal will be not really smooth will be if you see if we zoom in you see 
you will see that the signal is not really smooth. Okay, so it's good to increase this number. But however, if you increase this number, it will be increase the, the solver, increase the time of the solver doing your processing or your processing your data. Okay, we do it again. You see now it takes longer even to process the data. You see how slowly it will go down. Why? Because we uh, decrease the uh, sample time. Okay. So let's stop it. We go back again. We just go to 01. Then run again. You can see now it's much faster. Okay. Okay, and also it's very easy to change or manipulate the data. Again, let's say here, no need to start from 2.5. Let's say we start from 5.5. It will be directly changed here. Okay, you see, start from 5.5 and go down to 2.5 and start to do the, the random thing here. Okay. Okay, guys, so thank you very much. Uh, until now, so we have finished our tutorial for this video. For the next video, we will try to learn how uh, how to further process this data. For example, if you have uh, uh, any additional process to the data, okay, and we will see that into the next uh, coming videos. Thank you very much.